friends, welcome back. So today I thought I would just chat with you guys all things planners. Um, I have a little stack here. I'm gonna kinda walk you guys through this. So I wanted to first off say I apologize for being gone. I was traveling out of the US and I was not able to upload, you guys. Like I would start a video, and I'm talking like a 12 minute video. It would take four days and then it would start over. So I had a leave of absence, but not on purpose. But let's get back in to planners, the fun thing. Yes, I have, I love planners. And as you guys know, when I, when we start a, a season, I always buy like a ton of planners, but I am a planner hopper, but I do like to have one that's pretty con consistent. So let's just, let's just chat, you guys. I'm gonna start off, I really wanna start off with the, um, this particular size of planner, the week's size of planner, because this is really my baby. This is my, this is my passion. This is the one I like, and I am missing I have this in place of the paper test because I have the paper test weekly. This is just a notebook, but that's what that one's for. But I have a love for the week size planner. And I feel like this is really truthfully my, my planner. This is my planner size. So this is my love, right? And so last year, the only thing I was, in, I was consistent in was a week's planner and it was a Hobonichi week's, not the mega, just a regular. And I have been using this one pretty much since January. Um, um, consistently and then I ruined a bunch of pages so then I came back with the dilemma um, I, I really wanted to start over because when you spill on oh I have a more to share with you guys um, when you spill on your planner you know it's just um, this is another one I have to share it's just a it's a it's a conundrum so I have enough planners that I wanted to repurchase my planners so let's chat about the week size because I feel like this truthfully is my size. I have a couple other sizes to chat about. So this might be a little lengthy one, but I thought you guys wouldn't mind since I haven't had a planner video for a minute. But um, yeah, so the weeks is really my baby this size. So what I did was I, when I was traveling, I just had these three with me. And I have been using this monthly insert from um, Sterling Inc. for my social media uh, for YouTube and then for Instagram because I'm really trying to um, interact more on Instagram and build up my Instagram because it's so much fun over there. I just really love Instagram. So I did have this one I was using for that. And then I have my weeks and then I have my corrective paper. This has really been like my health and wellness planner. Um, I've been doing um, like a sticker a day, like here. Here's my stickers today for January and February. I do post these as well. I'm into March already. And then I wanted to show you guys, like I use this for my food log, my steps, my reading. Um, like everything like I've just kind of back and forth between it let me show you guys a blank page but I do really really like this planner um so I use this consistently in um in February um so that's really what I use for health and wellness it really truthfully was just like a workout planner and food log uh, vitamins all that kind of stuff um, and so I still have this one I still love it and that's what I've been doing in this one. And this one was just like my everything else planner, like my, my to-do list, my errands, everything, my list, everything in here. As you guys, if you're new, not new, um, you know that I use the supplemental notebooks for, oh, where's my, mine? I have in the Tragen cover, which we'll talk covers in another video, but I have it in the Tragen cover here. Let me put my stencils back in here. I love this cover. I have it in a couple sizes. But I just use this, the, the notebooks here at, for my, my meal planning. I truthfully do. I, I write in recipes. Um, you know, here's like my, my, you can see this is my February meal planner. And then I have like grocery lists. Why is this stuck together? I have like, I, I take inventory and then I make, here's my March ideas. Um, I haven't, I didn't use this because we were sick as can be. Um, this is this week that I'm currently on and I have my March ready to go. But yeah, so I do, and I, this I just love because it just sticks in the back, you know, no problem, no fuss. So that's really what I've been using consistently as my planners. And then I use a, I've been using a digital system for my work planner, which I do love and I'm still going to continue to do so. But I do want to, um, I do also have found that I really like seeing it in writing. So comes come in the my standard size. Oh, you guys do know. Well, okay, for journals, we'll talk journals as well while I'm here um, as well. But I've been using the um, paper test and pull this out for the glare. So I just use a, this is from Laura F Lauren Phelps. And it's just, it's meant for just a regular um, standard. Tian, I have another one over here. 
but I use this for my release paper, my, my reusable sticker book. And then on the other side, I keep my memory planner, which has been this uh, vertical weeks from paper tests. Um, I'm very consistent in it. And I start this on my birthday and use it. So it's the end of May is my birthday. And so I use this end of May through, um, it was November. And then I started this one in November. So like November 27th here is when I started this. And I'll just like write a little a synopsis about my week. And then I um, write a few things I did each day down just for fun. This is really just for fun. I mean, I use it consistently. I haven't written in here yet, but I, I go I go back in back plan. And in the back, I put stickers. I mean, I put like um, tickets and things in the back. So I really do love this one. <laughs> and as far as journaling, I also have the B6 take a note. And really, I got this one truthfully because I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to put pictures in the back. Um, you can see I just do a picture a day. I love this thing. I've been very consistent. This way, I, I tried a different way to just collage with my tickets, my passport, and then like my kids. And then I do like a at a glance currently, but I do love this. So this is my journaling. I'm willing to share some of it. And then in the back, in the front on the weeks pages, I also journal like this. So I do love, love, love this. Um, we'll get more into that in just a moment. But you know, you guys, if you've been, again, you guys, the standard TN has also been my, it's my ori 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 origin story is really at the standard TN because that's like the personal size and standard TN because I started with, um, um, Franklin Covey and it was like personal size rings and then I went into like a standard TN so this has always been that this kind of planner like you can see has always been my jam um, you guys have seen I've had I used to have so many videos I don't know what I have left currently you guys because I've been on YouTube now for almost uh, has it been eight years I think it's been eight years maybe more um, and so I've been filming in multiple planners over the eight years and um, I had, a, so I've deleted a bunch of videos. That's what I'm trying to say. So I used to have a whole bunch of planner videos in that, but I don't know if I still have it. <clears throat> but here comes in the standard TN. So I have a setup video on this from Plan Miss of last year. And this, I just love this. I, I wanted this to be my work planner and that's what it's going back to be. So I have this set up. I have my dashboard pages here. I was going to go ahead and I'm starting to list my work events in here. And I did these, I used, um, uh, washi just so I could quickly locate these because I want to put my time schedule for work in here I work these six days a week and I have a very consistent schedule for the most part But I want to be able to have like my time block schedule so I can refer to that on a on a regular basis And then I did set up my um, goal pages here These are the sections that I want for goals and what I'm tending to do for this particular planner and then here I started to use it for um, trackers which I didn't obviously use it, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do this because I really like this idea and that I had. And then I can use this over, other section over here for my goals. So goals and then trackers. And I haven't, obviously I haven't set up the other quarters. There's quarter two, quarter three is here, and then quarter four is here. But I did go through and set up um, the monthlies, some of the monthlies, and I used these cute little um, stickers from these are vinyl stickers from Exalama Plans, and I got a bunch of them, so I just went at my grandkids actually helped me pick them. They did it all for me, um, and I put the, these are the cutest candles from Sweet Tea Plans, and I use these for birthdays and anniversaries, and yeah, so I just went ahead and put, this one I didn't have one yet, but I went ahead and put, this is from Sweet Tea Plans, you can see. So I just kind of put one for each month, um, whatever I thought was pretty. There we go, you can kind of see. I just kind of picked one per, and, I, and then I just use these. And I want to show this because this goes, I think, to Jessica, just January, just January, because I wanted to show you guys, um, oh, here. So this is March, I'm setting up March. And I actually just used the, um, the this is from Exo Mama Plans, and I just used her um, A5 kit because I, I did have um, an A5 spiral planner that I was going to use. But I just, I just don't like that size anymore, guys. It's just too big for me. Um, so I kind of tried to kiss cut some flowers, which I'll probably do better. But yeah, that's just what I did. And I want to use this down here for tracking as well. So I didn't use February. I set it up, but I didn't use February. And I did not use January. But I intend to go back and backfill this all in. But yeah, so that's really what I want to. This is for work. And then I'm going to show you guys. Like this is because I wrote it all down, but then I didn't, um, I didn't put in my time box. Normally, it, so what I have is I have my work schedule here and then I'll have it time blocked on my digital calendar. 
So then I know different times that I can do other things. Um, I just, I kind of stopped here because I was traveling, as you can see. So I was getting ready to travel, but I did a huge training here. I mean, I, I still worked those days. I just didn't write it down. But um, this just helps me. So what I think I want to do is to continue to use this for my work. I did, I used a kit from, this was from um, Raindrops on Paper Co. It's transparent, which I loved. And I tried to do it this way, but this just, I love the kit. So it's not the kit. It's just that I don't like the, I don't like not being able to see the time block. You can see we started getting sick and it was just, it was sick. And then this is this week, which I will intend to film a video in here. But I use these cute little um, labels from Excel Mama Plans. And in the back here I have projects and I have used a dashboard and cut it down. And then I have like my spin tracker. I have different work event trackers, different trackers and things back here. So that's what I have back going on back here. Um, again, yeah, I left this here so I could tell you it was a Lauren Phelps uh, cover. So I have tried the Take a Note A5 for my work as well. And I absolutely love that planner. And I love that I have a whole bunch of A5 covers as well. So it's not a size that I'm completely out of, but um, I do really like this size. And I'm finding, um, if you will, this stack to be pretty great, like a, just a weeks and a standard, to be a really great uh, stack, a really great system. So with that, I'm contemplating for March. So here's the March situation. I went ahead and bought a Hobonichi Cousin um, Spring Edition. Sorry for the glare, guys, because I'm going to pull these in because I use these for like my Bible study and then th this is for projects. So I, I'm not all the way out of A5, the A5 size. I, I do have um, a bunch of different notebooks. This is from Paper Test. This is a blank one. I also have Grid. I also have Dot Grid. So I do have these as well that I have thought about using for... Um, work notes and projects and things. So I could totally do this, but here's the here's the kicker, guys. I have a memory planner and I have a journal. <clears throat> oh, and I did wanna share why I'm here, but I had a memory planner uh, as well. I tried to use this one from Paper Tests. Um, um, it's, you guys, I did use it, but it's just not for me. I don't know, I just couldn't get behind it. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not giving it up completely because who knows, I might go back to it. But they have like the week here and then you have a day per page and they're not numbered or anything. And then you have the week. So it also has the monthlies in here. I love the monthlies in the in the one section. Maybe I'm the only one that does that I don't, anymore. I don't know. Everybody likes, everyone has their own way. But trying to show, I think the monthlies are in between. So I was just trying to show you. A monthly, I think. I'm pretty sure it's in between, right? Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. So it goes the monthly. Then after the monthly, it has a two page, like a dashboard. And then you have the week and a day per page and you have the weeks and you go back to a monthly like this. So I do really like this size as well. You guys kind of know, these have been my sizes, the A5, the B6, the standard and the weeks. Those are my sizes. Those are my four sizes. I don't see myself going out of them because every time I have tried, I have passports, I have um, pockets. I've tried everything um, as well. Other ones, A A6, but I just continue to go back to these. So while I find like this one hasn't worked for me, I have really enjoyed this one. But here's the kicker. This one only lasts until May, right? Um, and then I, the end of, well, not even all of May. And then I need a new one. So I went ahead and purchased this because I thought this could take the place of, not the project book, but <clears throat> of like my study book and my memory planner and my journal and the photos that I do in here all in one. So it just saves space. But I absolutely love this one. I love what I've already done. I'm going to continue to finish it, uh, I think. At least I'm going to do it through May or April. And this one I will continue to finish through May. So I'll have these complete. Well, this one won't be complete because I'll only journal through May. But then I have my Hobonichi Cousin Spring Start. And as you guys know, I do really like a spring start. I really like it because that's when my birth month is. And then I, I like to do, I, I don't know, I just, I know that's funny, but that's just how I like to do it. And this is a Japanese version. I honestly do not care. It doesn't bother me at all. I, I've been using them long enough before they even had um, English planners that I don't have a problem with it. But you guys, I really love this for journaling and for um, photo albums and for memory planning. And I think I'm, I'm going to tentatively plan to start this in April um, for that. Because it does start in April. So this one starts in April. Um, and the monthlies do not. So it starts here in April for the forward planning, and then it goes till March of next year. And then it starts with February of the month. 
I don't know why, it's kind of odd to me. February, and then you have March, and then April. And then it goes, I believe, let's see, how far does it go? Um, here's April of 2025, there's May. So it goes to May of 2025. And then it starts, the weeks start on April 1st, and the, let me put this back here, and the days start, I believe, on April 1st as well. Let's see, yes, they start on April 1st as well. So I'm feeling like I could use this for like my journaling and my picture a day. Um, if I'm putting a picture in here, because the journaling was just too much for me, but if I'm doing that, I feel like I could use this. I could also use this for some, uh, some study notes if I wanted to and just do a layout of like four weeks and then divide them and do my pictures and then do some study notes in here as well. So I feel like this can take the place. Now, will it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> but there's not a ton of uh, note pages in the back. You guys, I know everybody knows this planner really well. Um, it does go till March of next year because obviously the new one starts in April. But it does have a couple of note pages back here. Um, and then it has um, all the weird question ones in the back here. So I think you get four of these. Yeah, you get like three of those. Anyway, and then it has all the table of contents. But I'm thinking that that's what I'm going to be. I've always enjoyed to use using this planner. I've used it off and on many, many times for the last several years. I've started, I've even used these, um, the VEC ones, like the six-month ones, and I've used two at a time and using them for three months at a time. Like, I've done all kinds of crazy things because that's what I do here. But so I really feel like I, I, I'm going to try this. I'm going to complete my current journaling system. These are my study notes. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna complete my current journaling system and then I'm gonna go into here. Now, I don't know, this may not work and I may go right back to this, we'll see, um, because I have another one. I do love the paper tests, her, her little booklets. I absolutely love them because, I mean, they're undated, but I went ahead through and dated them all, but I just love this for, for memory planning and journaling. I think it's really fun because a quick little journal, a quick little thing. If it wasn't for the photos, um, I don't know if that I would even want to use this, to be honest with you. But if I can do this and the photos in one, even if I just use that for a photo a day, that would be a win to, in my book. So we'll see what happens, but that's what I'm thinking. I also have, like I said, tons of notebooks. So if I want study notes and different project notes, I could go back to this and then just keep my system very small. Again, they're all the same. So I have plenty of options, but this is kind of where I'm veering towards using in April. Um, I don't know if I actually will, but we'll see. <laughs> Back on to all of the week's size planners because really and truthfully, this is where it's at for me, okay? I just love, so I'm gonna use this for like my everything work, goals, all that, with or without the notes, I'm not sure yet. But that's that, so I already have that. Let's give me my scribble, my messy planner. I don't know if I'm gonna have a ton of plan with me's. I might do like a monthly setup or whatever. But I could also incorporate this into there with which was my, my um, social media. So that could all be in one planner. Now back to my weeks. So because I ruined this planner, I wanted to start a new one. Let me take this out. So I went ahead and bought on the spring release because I was already buying the Hobonichi Cousin. I went ahead and bought a spring start planner as well. And it was this one here. Um, it had a cat on it. I did put a sticker on it. I'm not a cat person, you guys. I love animals, but I'm not a cat person. But I did put a sticker on it because I don't really want the cat to show. I want the, the dream to show, if you will. So, and it's also a travel one, so, and it's hardcover. And it opens up, and I travel, I, this cute little fox, I travel extensively, you guys. I live out of resorts, so I live on the road. I know what it means to do that. Um, so this is, you know, this is what I wanted. I love this one. And if you guys have known, I absolutely love a um, the Weeks, this Hobonichi Weeks. I could, I'll go out of it, and I'll come back. I'll go out of it, and I'll come back. So I have this one for, like, my on-the-go. I went ahead and purchased this one for my on-the-go, um, but... But here comes the butt. You guys ready? <laughs> here comes the butt. <laughs> um, I found the Aura Stell Daily. And I have to say, I think this is the winner for me. Honestly. Before this, though, you guys, I did purchase the Sterling Ink Commonplace a full year. Because I do want a daily list. And this has a daily list option with the week size on the side here. So I do already have this one that I was thinking of. But I just never, I never used the Mega, but I did want to have, like I said, I intended, I wanted to have a day per page is what I really want for a, a list, a brain dump of each day. And I like this size so much because 
I don't like a thick planner. That's where I get like behind. That's why I'm worried about using the cousin. I thought for a memory planner, I really want to have it all in one. It would be really nice. So we'll see. But um, so I had this one already and I knew I could use it. But I, when I saw that um, Aura Estelle had her dailies, I went ahead and purchased these. They were they were a discounted price, you guys, because it's already through the year, I guess. But this comes in two sets. This is the first. This is January through June, the volume one. And as you guys know, I have no I usually do this all the time. I've used the Evac. I most more than I've used this one. I've used the Evac. I've used the Sterling Ink last year. I used the Sterling Ink um, one like this that was in two. It was six months. And then I used this in six months. So I have no problem using a six-month planner. But you guys, I love this one. So in March, I started using this one and I did de um, decorate it. It is a Sunday, this was a Sunday start, which absolutely is not okay with me because I have a Monday start person. I have transferred all of my planners, even my digital ones are all Monday start. So I bought an insert just to cover the whole, cause this is just 2024 and it was a Sunday start. I was like, nope, not happening for me. And this one is um, okay, it's not. It's just numbers, so it, it doesn't have anything else. And she does have a replacement kit that you can buy to cover up. But I thought if I'm gonna cover it up, I'm gonna use pretty stickers. And I had these, these kits from Nikki Plus Three, and they're beautiful. So I just went ahead and used them. They're on one page. Do I have April's to show you? I don't think I do. But I have a leftover kit I'll show you guys. But they're on one page, and it's just beautiful. So I just used her, I had, I had to white out just a tad on some of the larger um, ones, but then I um, went ahead and put down a kit. So I am going to go, I, I'm probably going to back plan this, you guys, but it's just beautiful. And then it goes to a week like this, where it has this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then you have a day per page. So if this was the layout of the this, I think I would love it more because I'm so used to this, but I can wrap my head around this, you guys. I feel like I can get my head around it and um, and try to get behind this. And then I have my day per page. So clearly I didn't start this until March. And then I did use the tabs from Excel Mama Plans. I love her. So you can see I have the tabs here. These are her like neutral, neutral version. And then I have her colorful version here. So I do love her versions of tabs. Um, and then I did put my, these are from Raindrops and Paper Co. And I used her, um, her holidays. So I do have this done here. And then I did, and then in March, I have March. And I just started to fill this out. And I'm going to go ahead and completely fill this out. Oh, I need it, and um, you know, I need to remove that because obviously, I, I did a Monday start instead of a Sunday start. So it's. Let me just show you guys what it looks like. It looks like this, and I just don't. I'm just not a Sunday start person. So anyway, I just use these beautiful kits. I had them already from Nikki Plus Three. I bought transparent, thinking I was going to use it in my um, larger one, so it wouldn't be so thick. But I already had these, um, the ones that were on her premium mat, and they come with foil. And how pretty is that? So I feel like this is going to replace my weeks you guys i feel like this might replace my weeks because i have been pretty consistently using it so what i did this week here i used it for like my meal planning over here and then i just wrote down appointments that i had um, for each day and then i have my today my writing to-do list so these weren't as busy because you guys i started to watch my grandchildren because everybody was sick and then i set went ahead and set it up so that i could you know just have my it's my daughter's birthday She's a Jasmine fan, and then St. Patrick's Day, and I used to use leftovers. So I just, I feel like this is gonna be the answer. I also feel like there's a, yeah, there is, there's a whole bunch of pages back here too. I think she said there's 20 pages, 20 note pages. Um, and then I went ahead and bought these. What is the shop? Paper Squirrel, I think is the name. And I bought them the whole year. So I have these as well that I'm just gonna stick in here for this, and then I can use for the others. And I'm gonna use these for, um, I can use these for like gratitude. I'm probably gonna use these for steps and workout, to be honest with you, so that I can get rid of, even though I love this corrective paper one, I like the idea of getting all down to just two planners. I like that idea, because the journals don't count. So anyway, so I don't know, so I feel like I can get rid of this by doing something like this. I can even get rid of a lot of my, my memory planning things if I need to, because I have enough pages in here, I feel like I could use quite a bit not here, but also up here. I could use this for like my my brain dump, like I do this every month. I show you like this, where I just start to go and write down meal ideas. And so I could just have like a running meal ideas here. And then I can use this for my health and wellness. I can dot when I do a workout and I can write my step tracker here. Um, so I feel like this is what I'm going to replace, like everything. 
Um, I feel like it's gonna be great. So while I have this, and you guys, for some reason, I can't ever get away from the Hobonichi. So this could also be a memory keeper for me. Like I could go back to, I used to use it for a memory keeper when I first started. And I have no problem with that. And honestly, that might be the way it goes. I, I don't know, I just keep myself open. I did want to show, I did buy the paper test and I used it and I've shown that many times. I have the notebook here, isn't this beautiful? Um, it is beautiful as well. And I thought about using these for, um, for like my picture a day as well. I just don't know how the spine would hold up with a picture a day in here. So I also have this one, which is the vertical columns because I thought I wanted to use this for work. Because the difference in size between this one and this one is one square grid. So you just have one extra square grid. So I was thinking I wanted to use, I would use, could maybe use this one for work. And then I could just have this system here is what I was originally thinking. And then I could throw in this for memory planning. And if I wanted to, or I could can stay in this and keep continuing to use this for memory planning. But this might work, this might actually happen, to be honest with you guys, so I have a daily and a work planner all in one, because what I ended up doing was bought a cover that will fit two um, megas. So let me show you. So this is from Asian Gifts, I think. Yes, Asian, oh, Asian Vista, Vintage, Vintage. It has a pretty little stamp. So this is made for two Hobonichis, and I believe it said Hobonichi Mega. So I can't remember which one I picked, but it does have the strings, or if they fit in the pocket. And so I can fit two of these very easily in here, like that, you can just see, no problem. So I can fit that, and this has to be my like everything planner. Did you guys know I don't like a thick planner? So there, and I went ahead and I picked up some um, pretty covers from, this one is from Angel Shop. That, would, that fits here, really pretty. I have a couple of different ones from her. I love the floral, as well as it looks really pretty on the pink as well. So I have a couple of different these. I have one that has a snap too. So I could do that as well, but when I travel, I have a cover for all of it. But I was thinking more if I did this, I would do something like this with the, like this and, and do it like that for my, my journal, everything all in one, if I was gonna do that. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens, you guys. But for now, I think I'm going to just start, this is gonna be on the back burner, but I think I might set this up and there'll be a video if I do. But I'm thinking that this is what it's going to be for now. It's going to be these two for my planners, for my work and my goals, and then my like daily listing. And that will replace all the other planners, you guys. And then I'm going to complete, I obviously always use these for study. Well, maybe you guys didn't know that, but I do. But this is, you guys, I'm holding on to this because I think I'm gonna re end up replacing this one with this one. But um, I need, I just need, I want, um, a small place to journal. So I could either buy another one of these, or she also has just come out with like um, the catch-all planner, which is the week like a Hobonichi's week, and three pages behind it. And then that could be my journal as well. So I'm thinking about either that, or using this for my um, pictures and my memory planning as well. So I have several different options all in this size. But like I said, I'll even, I'm even willing to just cut this down and use this for notes and projects and keep these because they're thin and just keep consistent with this size or use this, like notes like this. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I have this that I really want to use for like a memory planner. But you guys, I'm okay if I have two because I'm going to, for one month, I'm gonna be doing both of these because I'll be doing April in here and um, a little bit of a couple weeks of May and then I'll be having April in here. So. I'm fine to continue to do this system as well, but this, I want to do, if I do my journaling and my pages all in one in here, then it eliminates all these other planners like this. It eliminates all that as well. And then I just get down to where it's just this system. This system here or, you know, this with this instead. So, but either way, you know. So that's the system, you guys. So for now, I'm starting the month of March off with these two and also finishing with um, this one here for my memory planning, which I absolutely love. So this is my stack, you guys. This is what I'm going to continue to finish March with and use off and you'll see videos in all of these. So this was a long chatty video just to let you guys know it's okay to switch. It's okay to be up open to different things. 
But this is where I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be most happy with. So this is what I'm going to finish off with. If I feel like I wanna interchange this with this one, I will. But anyway, I'm loving it. So check, I'll, I'll have another video um, in the beginning of April to share with you guys what I'm starting in April. I hopefully want to include this because I have some beautiful, beautiful kits that I want to use. But what I have found is these weekly pages in here, the weekly kits that I was using here, I can use very lovingly in, on these daily pages. I can fit them here, no problem, and they work great as well. So I have, I, you guys, I don't ever just take a, um, a kit that's meant for a certain planner and just stick with that. Obviously, I use the week's planners in these, um, and I will continue to do that as well. As well as Exo Mama Plans has the best teeny deco kits, and I love her teenies and her weeklies, um, and I continue to use and share those. Um, so anyway, that is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that I have been away. I'm gonna be filming some videos for you guys today, um, hopefully, because I'm on the mend. I've been sick, but I'm on the mend um, because I just miss talking and chatting with you guys. So God bless, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.